Okay, I'm going to replace the belt, pulley, and rollers in my Whirlpool dryer. First take out the link screen, then remove those two screws. Next, take a flat blade screwdriver and pry up on the front corners. Now you can lift the lid up. Next, disconnect the cable for the door switch. Now remove the two screws holding the front panel. Now the second one. Now you can lift the front panel up and away. And once the panel is removed, if you look in the lower left, you can see one of the black clips. The bottom of the panel rests on that. To remove the belt, push up and to the right on the pulley until you can remove the belt from the motor. Then remove the old pulley. Now you can pull the drum straight out and you can just slide that belt off and put the new one on. Next for the lower roller, pry off the circular clip. Then loosen the screw at the bottom of the support bar. And now move that bar out of the way. Next we're going to move that triangle clip. If you got new clips with your roller kit, it doesn't matter if you break this or not. Now you can slide the roller right off. Now you need to clean all that gunk off the roller post. Okay, after that I'm going to spray a little WD-40 on there because I don't have any graphite or silicon lubricant. And then put the new roller on. Next, install your new triangle clip. You okay, put that roller support post connected. Now put the new circular clip on.
I'm going to use some needle nose pliers to force that on there. But a small round socket probably would have worked better. Now tighten that screw at the bottom of the support post. Next, the roller on the right side, remove that triangle clip. Slide the roller off. And now clean this roller post. And I'm also going to squirt a little WD-40 on here also. Now slide the new roller on. Put on a new triangle clip. Now slide the drum back in, and on the drum there's a little groove near the end. Make sure the rollers get in there. And once it's in place, you may want to have somebody hold it for you. While you slide that tab for the pulley in, and then snap in the other side. Then take a loop of the belt, put it underneath the pulley, then push the pulley up and to the right until you can get the belt onto the motor. Now that that's done, slide the front panel in, make sure it connects on those two clips. Now put in the two screws that hold the front panel. Reconnect the connector for the door open switch. Close the lid. Snap it into place. Put the two screws back in near the lint filter. and reinstall the lint filter. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.